Okay, so we're looking pretty good here. We've got a beautiful histogram of results. As we press F9 and hold it down, we're actually seeing this beautiful binomial distribution with some pretty sweet uh, random error uh, popping up too. <clears throat> but what you don't want to do, I think at this point, is show students, say for example, this histogram right here. Because this is the point of non-parametric statistics. It's not to say, here's a formula, here's how we calculate probabilities. It's saying, here's data, this is how the data behaves, and we can then chart it and look for likelihoods within the actual behavior of the data. So what we want to learn how to do now is to reset this, this uh, distribution back to zero. For starters, we're going to go up here to the File menu. We're going to go back to Options, back to Formulas, and we're going to change Automatic to Manual and make sure that this Recalculate square is unchecked. You can leave Iterative just as it is, but just make sure this is unchecked. Okay, we'll come back to this momentarily. Hit OK. And now here are the steps to resetting out, uh, resetting these, these values. There's also a way to do this using macros. And if you're interested in that, I'm going to let you talk to Doug, my co-presenter, because he's, he's got macros on a lockdown. I'm not a huge fan for a number of reasons. We can chit-chat about why if you want to. So here's the way to reset. Left-click in the cell. You want to reset back to zero or one, depending on the value. Left-click after the formula in the function bar. Press Enter and just repeat that for all of the cells in your distribution. So you left click in the cell, left click after the formula, and press enter. And do that all the way down, including the sum. Now I know right now the histogram is not zeroed out. Don't worry, we'll deal with that momentarily. Go ahead and save your work right now. Okay. And if you want, you can exit out of the program, which I recommend doing. It's going to ask you once again, do you want to save it? Sure. Go ahead and save one more time. Now, when you fire it back up again, you'll notice, well, you probably won't get the Microsoft Office activation wizard unless you're borrowing a computer that it needs to be activated on. But you'll notice that you started right back up with where you left, except now your frequency, is, your frequency count is at 1, and now you can build your distribution from scratch by holding down F9 and letting the data behave as the data behaves. And that is exactly what you want to do. From now on, when you relaunch your sheets, just when you exit out of them, don't save. And now every time you open it, you'll end up back at that saved starting point. Cool? All right, we'll do a few uh, a few closing remarks after this, and uh, we're on our way.